Unit 4 Describing a Place Part 1 Organization When you write a description, you tell what something, a person, an object, or a place looks like. There are two keys to writing good description. Good descriptions. Key number one, use space order to organize your description. Key number two, use lots of descriptive details. Imagine that you are standing in the doorway of your classroom. How would you describe the room to someone who has never seen it? Here are some possibilities. You might start at the left side of the doorway and work your way around the room in a clockwise direction to the right side, ending at the doorway again. Or you might start at the front of the room and go from front to back, first describing the chalkboard, the teacher's desk, and the area around the teacher's desk. Then you might describe the student's desk in the center of the room, and finally the walls and or windows at the back and sides of the room. Here are some kinds of space order that you can use to write a description. Top to bottom or bottom to top. Right to left or left to right. Far to near or near to far. Outside to inside or inside to outside. The refrigerator in the picture is described in the model paragraph on the next page. As you read the model, look for phrases that tell you the location of things. The shared refrigerator. Let's take a look at this picture. How would you describe it? The shared refrigerator. I'll read the paragraph for you. My roommate and I share a refrigerator. My roommate's half of our refrigerator is very neat. On the top shelf is a carton of milk, a picture of orange juice, and a bottle of mineral water. These are arranged in a straight line on the shelf. On the next shelf are cans of soda. These are carefully lined up in rows. Orange soda is in the first row, cola in the second, and lemon lime in the third. On the third shelf, he keeps dairy foods such as butter, cheese, eggs, and yogurt. On the bottom shelf sit plastic containers of leftovers. These are neatly arranged by size. The large ones are in the back and the small ones are in the front. There are two drawers in the bottom of the refrigerator. In his drawer, my roommate keeps vegetables and fruit. Each item is in a separate plastic bag in the drawer. In conclusion, my roommate is an organized person and his half of our refrigerator really reflects his personality.